So here I'm just going to demonstrate for you the uh, operating condition of the game. So just to note, as I said, there's no key for this lock. So it's best usually to play it if you're not going to replace the lock or get a new key with it off because the vibrations and the pressure from this the coin tray can kind of pop the tray off. But it's really simple for it to get replaced. It just has those two mounting screws for the lock mechanism. So you can either get a new key or even put a new small lock. It's a pretty common lock size. So um, with that there's the, the slotted tray for the coins depending on where it falls. And so put the coin in. Gumball. Another gumball. So there's no, even though this piece is a little loose, there's no effect on the actual gameplay. You can get, with a hard enough you know, tap, you can get the coin, the penny over into this section. Now it's really hard to actually get it in those, but it does get over there. And then as far as this, it works well. The, it will stick in the window if you get a one, two, or five on either side. And then you gotta use the top lever to let them drop. Now, I haven't gotten many one, two, or fives, but it does work. So let me show you the mount on toy. And the whole back does come off to get in there and mess with it if you want. Uh, I didn't take it off just because I don't really mess with it too much other than testing it. But let's go up here. And there's the mount for the uh, bracket. Now it's just a simple nut and it is kind of loose a little bit but it doesn't really affect the gameplay. There is that shim, there might have been one up on the top to stabilize it a little bit when you tighten it. Um, it is old paper so it could be something that they put in there but it is it is a bit loose and it can probably be tightened up a little bit.